Mario Kart will sideways on the beam. Check that out. Yeah. Right into a full. Oh, Beautiful. My. That was an excellent routine and her trademark, I don't know what she calls it, frog jump up there. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to watch. Taylor Spears, the final gymnast on the beam. In the Oklahoma Sooners, the score to beat is Lindsay Cheeks, 9-9. Mackenzie Cucuato had a 9-8. Three seven five. Beautiful and Odie. Nice combination. They're just toe point and flexibility. So interesting to see yet another senior closing out their career in gymnastics. I would like to see just a little bit more height on that split lead. Dismount combination. All right, well done. Good beam finals. Everyone really had a nice routine. Went out and did their job. Sam Pessick in her final performer performance as a collegiate gymnast on the beam. She is a former national champion on this event, and she has sometimes the most difficulty oh, in the meet. Let's see if she goes for that full twist. Bart, this is like a playground to her. It's unbelievable. No, Look at that. My. Standing full. Good for her. She even nodded afterwards. That's part of the choreography, but it was perfect. That risk very well may pay off because the only way to beat Ivana is to do something special, and that was special. And she's not just a trickster, she's quite clean in her execution. I, I love that she almost plays this routine. It's quite flirty. Right there, nice facial expression. Something Coach Val Condos really brings out in her athletes on this event. If you're gonna do beam, perform it. Don't go inward, go outward. Look at this routine. Wow. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. Just the level of difficulty. Throwing that full made all the difference. You're right. That is a game changer to dare to do that kind of difficulty in college when you don't have to do that. Nope. Much. Yep. Bridget Sloan on the balance beam. Beautiful combination there. Ariel Walker to the deep jump. Here's your series, back hands from layout, step out. Perfectly lined up with the balance beam. This is one mentally tough gymnast. I mean, she is a mental beast, really. She says she tends to compete better when she's a little angry. We've seen that side of her. She's all fun and games, but when she is angry, but she struggled. she's all business. She struggled the last part of the season on this event. Right. It's nice to see a little bit of a smile right there. This is the old Bridget Sloan back in full form on her favorite event, the balance beam. Oh, Phenomenal nice! Whoa. routine. That was a gorgeous balance beam routine, and I know she wanted it so badly for her team, for herself. Danusha Francis just up on the beam for UCLA, and this is always a highlight for the former British national team member. She has unique difficulty in the routine. They have five amazing scores already. The Jesus before her a 98625. The lowest score is a 98375. So what a start on being for UCLA. This has such a great character, this this routine, this performance. 
unique from start to finish. It's fun, playful, but it's got all the good difficulty, flexibility. That's a very, very difficult full turn. Most people just opt to do a simple full turn, fulfill that requirement. No, not uh, Denisha. She Old finishes Galega. with her signature move here. Love this. Aerial cart will sideways on the beam. Check that out. Yeah. Right into a full. Oh, Beautiful. My. That was an excellent routine and her trademark, I don't know what she calls it, frog jump up there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's fun to watch. You can just tell by her hair, she's plenty of fun. Oh yeah, wow. look at this. Great angle to see this. Takes a lot of flexibility. It's unique. It's all hers. <laughs> Smooth transition that young lady has made from the elite world into collegiate competition. Kyla Ross now for UCLA on beam coming off of Koshin's 98725. And when you've just seen Maggie Nichols really come up with a vault that we just did, Kyla Ross can do that on balance beam. She is as calm and picture perfect on this event. She really strives to show all of the pictures in the air, the leaps, perfect legs, toe points. She won the Pac-12 championships this year with a perfect 10. Aerial walkover. You can see her really bring her arms down sharply to emphasize the control she has on this event. She does a combination for her dismount aerial cartwheel into a full. Oh, and as so always, beautiful. I don't know if I've ever seen her not stick that dismount. It's really interesting the calming sensation you get when you watch her. She doesn't seem to rush. Always a highlight. Oh. I have run out of superlatives to describe this routine. It is one of the freest, most spirited balance beam routines you'll see. Not to mention the level of difficulty is crazy in both the acrobatics and the dance. There's her acro zeros back handspring hike to two feet. And she does it with a sense of joy. She usually flashes a peace sign at some point, <laughs> And I think that's just what, what her balance beam is all about. Look at that oh. double turn. Just, just, I can't even tell you how hard that is. She's fearless. <laughs> she is fearless. There's such a peaceful calm about her. I think she has a, she channels her inner beam spear. There are the peace signs. <laughs> She's like, I got this. Watch here. Full oh, boom. Oh, oh. There Expect it is. a huge score. She's <laughs> coming after a 995. <laughs> what a thrill. The Bruins showing off on beam. That is that is showing off from start to finish because she just outdoes everybody in terms of the types of difficulty she does. It's special. For Michigan, Natalie Wojcik. They have four scores, nine, eight, and above, one, nine, seven, two, five. So Michigan had the lead after the first of four rotations. You see their scores. A big score here would be important because they're trying to replace the nine, seven, two, five. Natalie is ranked seventh in the nation on this event and also sixth in the all around. Just a freshman from Pennsylvania. Beautiful extension of the legs, the really hyper extension in her legs make them look so beautiful in the air, perfectly straight, and it goes right into that toe point, making a gorgeous picture in the air. The 2019 Big Ten champ in all around and floor exercise. Very solid. Leap into a side area. She is so confident. Her composure is really extraordinary. Even can look to the side, smile at the judges. She knows she's got a good balance beam routine going. And McKenna Kelly on floor for LSU at the same time. Really nice finish. Exceptional balance beam routine. With